Hello, everybody. This is a live Lamley unboxing. It is the highly anticipated Hot Wheels 2019 N case. And of course, this was sent to me by our friends at ANJ Toys. Ken got the cases, so did Wheel Collectors. We already did the uh, rapid unboxing that Wheel Collectors did. We saw what they found. A lot of interesting stuff in the case that they found. And then uh, Ken sent me this one so we can open it live. That's what we like to do, and that is what we are going to do. Instead of saying hi to all you guys, I'm going to say hi to everyone all at once so we can get right to it because this is a video that many of you are watching live and some of you will be watching later. So uh, hello to everyone watching now, everyone watching later. Glad you can watch. Let's open this 2019 end case together. We'll be looking for the Bugatti Chiron, if I said it right. We'll be looking for the Audi S5 and just whatever other goodies are inside. So let's just get right to it. Like I said, there's been a lot of interesting things found in this case, but we are going to start with this first group. We've got the Mazda RX-7 recolored in green with the awesome lace wheels. The flash drive, and that is the Surf and Turf. Recolored in that satin green, that looks kind of cool. You guys can make comments on the models you'd like to see um, showcased on this uh, in the highlight video, which I think we will probably do tomorrow, uh, provided I have time to do it. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, this is the Tesla Model S in blue. This is the Honda Civic Type R recolored in white, which is awesome. We don't want to ignore that one. And the beat all. Now, what I saw with the wheel collector's cases is they got some that had the Tesla in it and others that did not. Now, this the Tesla is actually the super treasure hunt of this, uh, of this case, the end case. I've got it right here, actually. Mattel sent it to me. So this will be part of the showcase that I'll do. You can see the differences there between the two. But one in some of the cases that wheel collectors found... There was no Tesla, but instead this, the M as in Mary case super, the Lamborghini Aventador J. They sent this one to me that they pulled out of a case, which I'll do as part of the showcase. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow in the highlights video or not, but, um, but they did send that one to me. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, showcase that one when we decide to do it. But that's something that's kind of interesting in this case. All right, we'll keep moving on. I don't know why the MK Super was in there, but it was. Um, your guess is as good as mine. Custom Ford Maverick, recolored in kind of a metal flake gray, and then another Honda Civic Type R in white. Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. We, this is a holdover from the MK. It's a really cool version, the, pol the red police version, and then the Croc Rod. Evil Weevil, Dark Knight Bat Batmobile in a pearl white, really interesting color. Almost, almost look like looks like bone. It's kind of a kind of a disturbing looking model, I think. And then the 2011 Dodge Charger RT. Hover and out in gold, and then the Buick 64 Buick Riviera. Love that they've done this uh, Day of the Dead deco. For this one, probably in anticipation of Halloween coming up at some point when this case is released. But you can see they've also done the skull wheels on this one. It's kind of hard to tell here. Those were originally done for a Halloween exclusive release, but now they're moving them into the basic range, which I think is kind of cool. Volkswagen SP2. I did not see this in any previous cases, but I did come across an M case at Target and saw this in there. So I guess this is a holdover from the M case. And then the beat all once again. Flash Drive, Crescendo, and the Carbide. Pagani Huayra in uh, black. I guess this is more of a gloss black. Two of those. And then the Custom 4 56 Ford truck in matte black. Check that thing out with those wheels. Kendry's so, oh, look, there's a little Moon Eyes logo on that, too. That's going to make my daughter want it. 
Better put that aside for her, but that's a cool one. We'll do that as part of the highlights as well. Okay, very cool recolor. This is the McLaren Senna in orange. We saw the first one in blue. This one had, that one had 10 spokes. This one has PR5 wheels. Uh, that one is cool. We'll do that as the highlight, part of the highlight video in the 64 Chevy Chevelle SS, also a recolor from the Speed Blur series, which I really like. Hold over the Fair Lady 2000 in red. Another hold over the Acura Integra GSR. And then how about the 72 Ford Ranchero? Nice to see that one back. That's a really nice casting. One we haven't seen in a while. Another recolor. Robo Race Robo Car, Sky Boat, and the Tread Shedder. So the Robo Race in black. Now it's in white. All right, let's move on to the last 36 and see what we've got. I think we're most interested in, is it that one? Nope, it's that one right there. So we'll get to that and these right here. So the bottom 36 are really uh, showing us some really exciting stuff. Okay, Corvette Grand Sport. I like this one, Hot, Hot Wheels Racing Deco. I love the all blacked out J5 wheels. Turbo charged. Another Tread Shedder, another Mazda RX-7, and the Solar Reflex. That's a cool, as far as generic castings go, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, Dark Knight Batmobile, Aston Martin DBS. Did a showcase on the uh, DBS, or I think I was going to do a showcase, can't remember, you guys had asked me to. All right, there's the holdover from the Lamborghini Aventador J, two of those, of course. There's the Super, if you find it in the M case. Not bad. And then the Mock Speeder. Sorry, dropping things here. Okay, Bot Wheels, is that a new casting? I think it's Take on Hot Wheels. Uh, 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. You guys are, you guys are amazed at how I can figure that stuff out, right? Okay, 64 Buick Rivera again, and then the McLaren 720S in purple. I've already done the showcase on that McLaren. I think that color is awesome. Runway, I think that is also a uh, a new model and might have some moving parts on it. I'm guessing that ladder or hose piece at the top. I guess that's a hose piece. Or a ladder, I don't know. Uh, moves, we could check that out in the showcase. 66 Chevy Nova in black, and then the Twin Mill Generation E. All right, another holdover from the last case, and an absolutely beautiful 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. And then the custom 56 Ford truck once again. I'm going to put that to the side because we have that Audi coming. We can uh, put them together real quick if you want. All right. What you wanted to see, let's take these two, let's throw them away. You wanted to see the second runway rescue, didn't you? You're all excited. You saw those three and said, there it is. Can't wait, John. I don't like one runway rescue. I like the second one, right? What were the other two in here? Oh, these, but no one cares about those. How about that runway rescue, huh? Crazy to have two of the, I'm kidding. There they are. 2016 Bugatti Chiron. I hope I'm saying it right. Nice to see two of those in the case because we know this is going to be very popular. So at least we don't have like one per case. It's going to make it that much more difficult uh, to find. Um, I've already opened one and photographed it. It's on. It's already on landleygroup.com if you guys want to see it. It is a spectacular model. Uh, it is awesome. Electro Silhouette. And then the Twin Mill Generation E, once again. Okay, the one, I think, significant new model from the last case, the Chrysler Pacifica. There it is. There's two of those and another Acura. And finally, to round out the case, the one cast I think is really cool but overshadowed badly by the Bugatti is this thing. Look how pretty it is. We'll, uh, we'll let that bot wheels go and sit off to the side because this is the Audi RS5 Coupe. Fully detailed on the front, fully detailed on the rear. 
J5, it looks a whole lot like the first issue of this casting, doesn't it? And I've already photographed them. I'll put up photos of um, of the RS Coupe with the RS6 Avant here probably sometime this week once I can get the photos all put together. I've already taken them. But that is a great model. And when you put that together with these two, not bad, right? Two of the Audi, two of the Bugatti. That makes the case worth it. Maybe it's worth buying this case from A&J Toys if they still have them available because you're guaranteed, I don't know if you're guaranteed, but you're good chance that you'll get two of each of these cars, right? Pretty darn sweet, this case. I'm pretty thrilled about it. I'm also pretty thrilled about, uh, I don't see a regular. Is the regular supposed to be the 60 Camaro? Did I hear that? But um, I don't know if that's the case or not, but. A very, very nice super in this case as well. So if you're lucky to find that, or maybe you get lucky and get one of those weird cases with the Aventador. You can't go wrong with either one, I don't think. So, oh, you guys tell me what you think. This was a fun unboxing to do. Sorry for the glare. There we go. Um, tell me what your favorite models are in here, the Bugatti or the Audi or any others. You guys can let me know. I think it's great. Fun to do these live vids with you. I will go look back at those... Uh, comments as we do them. Maybe I'll get on live with another thing on uh, Lamley Extras a little bit later. And then the highlight video is coming. We're going to open these up and show these babies off. That will be fun. Hopefully that's tomorrow. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.